Clark Scotty reporting at the Cannabis Day Parade. <laughs> Damn, you could think you smell the ganja a mile away. Woo! On the wild side. I can't underestimate just how much how much it smells like pot in here. I don't smoke, man. I take my mask out. All right, we're gonna play a little song. So 1973. Smoke that fire. Light it up if you got. Smoke that fire. 1973. This started here in New York, and uh, they've been going ever since. Legalized spot, they're, they're doing it. Very, very loud. How you doing, man? Chilling like Bob Dylan? You already, man. Just enjoying, having fun in New York, the how it is. It's a good day. In, it's a good day in America. It's coming closer, closer to legalizing, right? It's always a great day to smoke a joint in New York, and nobody's harassing, you know. Soon enough, it's gonna be like that every day. More, more cops, less cops, right? Yeah, more cops, less cops, man. Civilization all the way, man. Good day, man. Guys, high like a motherfucker.
Hey guys, sorry. Joy sick of love. Oh, it's a great day in New York, right? <laughs> Cannabis parade and, and march rally. 1973 it started by hippies. And this is a ba basically the movement that, according to legend, started the legalization movement in the United States. So they're still out here. They haven't gotten illegal in New York yet. But uh, looks like it's going to happen soon. Me, I don't smoke, but I respect your right to smoke. Crops, not cops.
Taylor and Mike Bob Dylan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! That's a high like motherfucker. What's up, man? Ah. Everybody feeling good out here today? Yeah. All right. It's good to get together like this, y'all. You know who I am? Keep it up. You know who I am? Why are you taking my pictures? Hey. How are you, man? Just shooting a piece on this beautiful guy. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? Uh, New York, Brooklyn. Cool, man. Are you a reporter or are you just hanging out? Just a photographer high hanging out. Smoking the trees? Uh, not yet. That's working right now. Alright, got you. Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, YouTube guy. Excellent. I'll check it out, man. Take it easy. Try to get around the perimeter and talk to some people. Hello, Doobie. Hello, Doobie. What do you got? Hello, my name's Doobie. Legalize me. You got it, man. A lot of products. camera out before I uh, report. So tell me what you got. What do you got? The growing station is frozen an ounce of flour in 14 to 15 weeks from a seed. Wow. It's all self-contained with the grow light, with an aerospace grade aluminum. It's ventilated with charcoal filters. It won't stink up the environment. And it's made to go in the decor of an upscale home. How many uh, wattage? How many watts? Is it? it runs up 40 watts. Um, 40 watts. Yeah, this is transformer. That's very low. You can plug it into the wall. You got 40 watts out of the outlet. And you get one big plant out of that, one big happy plant. One plant, that's all you need. You can send one plant, yeah. You better hope it's a female, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Grow equipment. What do you got? What do you saw? Oh, yeah, Keith. How much pot can you smoke? Before you, before you. <laughs> can you be too high?
Can I ask you a question? Can you be too high or is it just, can you just get high enough? I mean, it's really no sense. I mean, you can a lot of high people here. You gotta definitely be too high, but you know, you know, always counteract it with CBD. You know, we're, we're Presto doctor. We, you know, patients want to talk to the doctor about, you know, how to come down from that high, also how to medicate. You know, it's, it's a medicine, so you yeah, know, there's no such thing. But most people don't see it as a medicine. They just want to get high, right? I mean, that's I, I haven't, uh, you know, smoked in 25 years, but I respect your right to smoke. And um, but do you think it's more medicine or recreational? I, I seem to think. People should be more honest. It's uh, I want to get high. So I mean, it's it's you know, you can argue both sides, but at the end of the day, even when folks are medicating for recreational use, they're usually doing it for a certain reason. Just like you know, you come home and have a drink, you come home to unwind to you know, maybe you had a stressful day. So cannabis is essentially medicine, no matter how you want to boil it down. So you know, agree. Yeah, yeah. Just like a, a beer or a glass of wine or yeah. exactly. So, but Good. also you know, it can be used for more you know serious medical conditions. You know. So. Could be subject to abuse, though. You kind of no, just like everything, you know. Um, I'm going to be subject to abuse, and you can go, you know, to Costco or you know, Sam's Club and buy a full handle or as many as you want, you know. But you know, There's more crops, not cops, right? Exactly. Yep. Thanks, man. Good talk. Watch them steps. I think the pot is kicking in.
I think you get the gist of it, right? My head is spinning. Walk through about 90 pot <laughs> clouds of pot. The police are being nice. They're almost authorized not to arrest. Day of celebration, you know? Freedom. Cops, not cops, right? Can't, you can't get hurt there, right? Marcus Conti reporting from the Cannabis Parade and Rally in New York City. Peace out. <laughs> 